Hey, what is up, good people? It's your boy, the SMT. We're doing some testing here. I am in frigid, cold, still February, <laughs> Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, man. It's, uh, I'm actually in Brook Park, Ohio. It's a suburb just, I don't know, probably just a little bit south uh, of Cleveland. So I'm very, very close. It's a bordering city. And it's not too far from the airport. Very industrial, lots of traffic, car dealerships. Uh, there's homes behind me, you know, businesses, gas stations, hotels up the street. Anyways, good place to test. So I have, uh, I have AT&T's first net. I have Verizon 2017 new unlimited line consumer, uh, Magenta for T-Mobile. It's a Magenta business. And then we have AT&T business elite. Anyways, we're going to test them all. Let's go ahead and run it. All right, go ahead. Right. Run them all. We'll see how they do out here. Uh, Verizon used to be really, really bad out here. It looks like they may have fixed that. Uh, T-Mobile is spotty out here too. It looks like they fixed that. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna see what we uh, got from these networks. Um, let's start over here with the AT&T first net. We got a. 46 millisecond ping, 2.9 millisecond jitter, 15.3 on the down, and 11 megabits per second on the up. Not great. Uh, there's not a lot of headroom there, not, not much room for error. Uh, congestion could be ensuing if it got any slower. Uh, but actually, I mean, if you were just using that connection, you wouldn't have any issues. HD video, you know, no problems there. Uh, here's Verizon cooking really fast, really good stuff there. 30 millisecond ping, three millisecond jitter. We have 325 megabits per second on the down, about 40 megabits on the up. Really nice there. I'm actually, I'm wondering what they got here for spectrum, cause that's really fast. And it looks like we got CBRS, but it looks like we're right on edge. We're really, really close to the edge there. See that DBM is pretty low. Uh, you usually like to see it in the eighties. You know, you can get a real view of what it could do anyways they got a 60 megahertz of that and it looks like it's another 40 possibly aws 20 and 20 maybe i don't know uh but really good stuff you can see it's pretty fast something tells me if i got a little closer to the site that would probably go up to about 500 megabits per second on the down there's t-mobile i would guess n41 man has made his appearance 44 millisecond ping 9 millisecond jitter about 400 on the down and 30 on the up uh, let's see if maybe it'll show. Go into the service mode. We'll see if we can show N41. All right, so I'm going to have to run another speed test and see if it'll show me. Oh, maybe it will. N41, 80 megahertz to N41. And the RSRP is pretty good. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. Um, so for 80 megahertz, I wouldn't say that's great. That's obviously awesome speeds. I mean, nobody's... I mean, what are you going to say about that? Here's AT&T. It's actually, that's pretty slow. Uh, I'm not sure how good that would be in like real world usage. So you got 42 millisecond ping, 13 millisecond jitter, one on the down and like 1.75 on the up. So I'm not sure how that would hold up for any type of app usage. Video, you might buffer. It might go down to like 240p, you know, 360p, that sort of thing. That's not good. If you were running a video call on that uplink, that might be touchy. Anyways, um, yeah, that's what we got from that first test. I'll go ahead and run another one and see if anything changes. We'll run them all. All right, so we got first net on the right, Verizon in the middle. Um, we got T-Mobile on the left, and then AT&T Business Elite top left. All right, so it looks like maybe possibly some momentary congestion from AT&T because it looks like it bounced back pretty nicely, well, much better. Uh, you can see that CBRS is really good. Very competitive with the N41, um, but obviously you're not gonna get the same range out of CBRS that you do with N41. N41 transmits high power. CBRS is obviously on low power, but uh, you know it's good to see them fixing their congestion issues. I'm telling you guys out here, used to be really bad. First net, not a great test. 6.6 .6 by 9, not not the greatest, but, you know, again, if you were just using that, you might not notice anything. 
right? That would hold up for most use cases. Uh, Verizon 319 by 42. The CBRS doing a lot there, a lot of uh, throughput. N41 also very fast. 361 by 57 for T-Mobile, and there's 14 by 3.38 for AT&T. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm wondering if I could maybe find the site. I'm not sure. I, I'm guessing there's a small sell around here for Verizon. I'm seeing this more and more. Uh, pretty much every week, I'm finding a new T-Mobile N41 site. And every week, I'm finding new Verizon CBRS sites. So it's good to see. Uh, let's go ahead and test the uh, fast.com. Everybody's always asking me for those. So let's go ahead and do that. Run fast.com for the first net. We'll run it for the Verizon. Here it is for T-Mobile Magenta. And then we'll go ahead and do it here for the AT&T Business Elite. All right, we'll see how they do. All right, so there's your first net line, fast.com. There's your Verizon, new Verizon Unlimited plan. All right, so that's uh, 17 megabits for the first net, 10 megabits for Verizon. Uh, and this is the frustrating thing about the Magenta, 2.2 megabits for Magenta. And I, oh, I forgot to run this one, maybe? Or maybe it stopped? I have no idea. That's the AT&T business. We'll see where this one goes. Sorry, it was a little delayed. I think we got some AT&T congestion out here. This would be a good place for them to maybe, you know, install a small cell or, you know, maybe get some more low band out here. If it's a coverage issue, um, if it's a capacity issue, I think band 30 is in order. <laughs> you know some modernization anyways there's your fast.com test we'll go ahead and we'll cap you guys off we'll just do another ukla why not we'll run another ukla so we got the magic of um cbrs and n41 uh, for those of you that have never heard of cbrs it is band 48 and uh it's 3.5 gigahertz mid band so good stuff for capacity but again, the range is kind of sort of limited. I I don't know. You might be able to get like a couple thousand feet if it's high enough, uh, you know, on a micro cell. If it's on a macro cell, you know, you could probably do over a mile, probably, if it's high enough. Uh, but that's my experience with it. So I think we're on edge because uh, I've seen it do 500, uh, 550, 575 mags. All right, so there's your first nut, 14 by 6. There's your Verizon, 273 by 38. And there's your T-Mobile, 377 by 40. And there's your AT&T business, one by two. So a little bit congested here for AT&T. This area could use some work. If you hear me, AT&T, get a small cell out here, figure something out, make some upgrades. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys around. That just about does it for this edition of the SMT YouTube channel. Thank you so much for taking this opportunity to watch. We appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed the content, Make sure to give this video a like and share it to all of your favorite social media platforms. Also, consider becoming a subscriber if you'd like more from the SMT and activate that bell notification icon so you never miss an upload and you'll be the first to know when something does hit the YouTubes. Also, we've got items in the description box. We've got a Discord server. The at Tech Twitter handle is there. And there's ways to donate and support SMT creation. Uh, that pretty much does it for today. Thank you so much for being here again. Hope you have a great day, and we'll hopefully see you soon on the next video. Peace.